Hey everybody, welcome to another Dundon Motorsports Minute. I'm Ted at Dundon Motorsports. Today we're gonna to help you get the most out of your Porsche using a tire pressure gauge. As you all know, tires are the most important part of any performance vehicle because they're the only part of the car that touches the road. And today we're gonna to learn about tire pressures, tire pressure gauges, and figure out how to use them so that you can go faster. All right, so uh, with tire pressure gauges, there are all kinds of different tire pressure gauges. You've got the one that's like the pocket tire gauge with the little meter that shoots out. You got your standard dial indicator gauge, and then you've got the fancy battery powered digital ones. Uh, they go from top to bottom, ranging in price. Most important thing about a tire pressure gauge is to make sure that it's calibrated properly or that you understand the difference between the true pressure and the calibrated pressure. So starting at the very beginning of your track day, the specific tire pressure is going to be depending on what kind of car you're driving, what kind of tire you have, and a bunch of other factors. So take it with a grain of salt. What I always recommend for new drivers, you're going to want to aim to get your tire pressure to match your manufacturer recommendations when the tire is hot. So for example, in this GT3 RS, Porsche recommends that these tires, you're at 29 PSI in the front and 33 PSI in the rear. So we're going to start by aiming for that tire pressure once our tires are up to temp. Now your tires are naturally gonna grow as you're driving aggressively on them as they come up to temp. So we're gonna need to drop some air out of the tires before we go out onto the track. I usually start with a couple pounds if you're a new driver. If you're an experienced driver, sometimes the drop can be up to 10 pounds uh, before you get any temperature in the, in the tire. So really important to kind of check and see after every session where your pressures are at. All right, another really good tip that we have when you're starting out at the beginning of a day, especially if you're a novice driver, very important to be careful during that opening session. When your tires are cold, when your car is cold, when your brain is cold, really important to warm up methodically and gradually. Nobody likes uh, the first guy out in the session to pitch the car off the track just because you try to be a hot rod on lap one. So be careful out there, warm everything up, and keep an eye on your temps throughout the day. All right, guys, we're gonna play like we just got out of the car after our track session. We wanna be careful not to use our driving gloves when we're checking our tire pressures. Uh, so I recommend either no gloves or a set of mechanics gloves if the air coming out is really, really hot. Um, we're gonna jump in here, tire pressure gauge is on. Do it as quick as you get off the track as you can safely. Um, the closer to the time frame when you came off the track, the more accurate the data. So we're gonna grab the tire pressure here right over 30. My goal is 29, so I would be bleeding this down to 29 pounds, and then I'd be ready for my next session. You're gonna go all the way around the car. Sometimes it's a good idea to make notes when you do that as well. All right, guys, so we've covered, you should have a tire pressure gauge, you should know how to use it, learn how to read your tires, play with the tire pressures going up and down, and ultimately, have fun at the racetrack, getting more out of your Porsche. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave a comment down below.